Hello everyone. In this video, as you can see, I have a link up from redmondpie.com that is talking about the new iMac and Mac Minis slash MacBook Pro that is supposed to be revealed next week, possibly at the Apple event on October 23rd. Um, so in this video, I'm just going to let you know what to expect in terms of the Macs and what my personal thoughts are on the new iMac, Mac Mini, MacBook Pro, etc. Uh, and the rumors that are set for October 23rd. So, if you saw the previous video I uploaded on the Apple October 23rd conference, basically the conference is supposed to be uh, focused on the iPad Mini. So, I do think the iPad Mini is going to be released, um, and I do think they probably will update the Macs, but it may not be as significant as some of you guys may think. So, basically, first off, as you can see, this article I have is saying that the new iMacs, Mac Minis, etc. are going to be... Uh, capable of shipping with 8 gigabyte RAM modules. They're talking about maybe even including more expandable RAM up to 16 gigs which would be pretty cool and make it well worth your money for a Mac if you can upgrade it like that. Um, of course there's going to be processor speeds, just the incremental upgrades, uh, stuff like that, but the RAM is a general upgrade. Um, in terms of the Mac Mini, they are saying they may actually come out with a new um, a new design here. I'll scroll down. It just from the top. This is just what it looks like now. They're thinking maybe they will include a better design, uh, more solid that looks more like the iPhone 5's aluminum, um, or includes uh, a better way to upgrade, maybe an SSD stuff like that. The iMac actually they are talking about rumors uh, with the same thing, probably including SSD, uh, solid state drive. I already talked about the RAM. They are actually wondering whether or not they will include, people are wondering whether or not Apple will include a Retina display with this device because the MacBook Pro now has it. It would make sense for the iMac to have it. But the one uh, thing about that is the iMac screen is much bigger than the MacBook Pro screen, so it would cost a lot more money. So they may not actually include the Retina display, um, but they definitely would be upgrading everything inside, which would be great. I would expect the design to remain about the same, but it's probably going to get thinner with an SSD. Um, so that isn't going to be that big of a change, and neither will it be for the Mac Mini. Um, but the MacBook Pro, general last rumor about the MacBook Pro is, as you know, this summer I made a video about Apple releasing the MacBook Pro 15-inch with a Retina display. Essentially, there is talk about whether or not the MacBook Pro will be updated uh, with a Retina display at 13 inches. Um, but I've heard rumors that this is probably not going to happen until next year, so we are going to have to wait to see um, for that to actually be released. But other than that, that's basically everything you can expect with the Max. Not as big of, of increases as compared to the um, as compared to the iPad Mini. But hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. I'm just here to update you guys. Be sure to stay tuned for next week when they actually update all of these things and I will be actually making a video to update you on what they released. So thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, rate, thumbs up, favorite, and stay tuned for more content. And also follow me on Twitter, my website, Google+, my other channel, and uh, Facebook all in the description. Really appreciate it guys. Um, you guys make it possible for me to do this and make some money off of YouTube as well as help you guys out with updates and problems, etc. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Stay tuned and enjoy. Peace.